good morning. I'm driving into work and you get to join me. <laughs> um, it's been a while since I posted, so I just wanted to touch base and give you an update. Um, Tim is continuing to do well. His, uh, his immune system is still pretty compromised. So we have to limit our connections with lots of people. Um, but the Nupagen shots, he had two back to back and those helped to bring his neutrophils up from zero to 6.5 the last time we checked. So um, that allowed us to get a little getaway in to Door County for two days during a very off season, non-busy time, which was nice. Um, but He's very far from being back to normal. His uh, stamina is still pretty low. And um, we learned last Friday that he will not be able to touch dirt <laughs> this spring and probably this summer. So that has me reeling a bit in terms of what to do about our farm. I think my knee jerk response was, okay, we've got to get rid of it. <laughs> I just cannot go into another season um, trying to juggle all the stuff um, and now the place I'm in is to proceed with a few things that I have lined up for me this spring one is to talk with a mentor today uh, after work I'm going to speak with this woman about um, possibly entering into like a mentor mentee relationship for our farm so that I can get some guidance and direction. Um, I'm also going to a program called Through Marble Seed. It's, um, it's called farm, The New Farm You, and it's for small organic farmers to um, kind of learn the business side of farming. And uh, yeah, I think I'm hoping that it'll help me wrap my head around what can we do to turn a little bit of a profit for what we're doing so that it can be sustainable for us as a family. Um, the plan before was that Tim would cook and we did farm events and kind of had rustic Italian farm dinners, pizza dinners, um, welcoming people in and opening our space for lots of people at once seems like that's kind of off the table still right now um, for a couple of reasons his immune system is one part and the other part is just um, it's kind of a whole thing you know usually when we do a farm event for even a, an evening it takes several days of pre-planning and a big push um, the weekend of so I don't think I have that in me. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to piecemeal out bits and pieces of what we do and um, just wrap my head around how to make it doable. If we were to try to sell, I've talked with a realtor in the past and it would take us probably two years on the market um, to sell a place like ours or at least we would need to give it that leeway time. And selling also would be a lot of uprooting and moving the girls to new schools and changing a lot about our life and our lifestyle. And I think this is still what's pulling to me forward. And um, when I'm out and doing the chores and kind of out in the dirt and out in our space, it still moves in my heart. Um, I'm just in that phase right now of like, how do I make it doable? <laughs> so that's where we're at. And so this Saturday is April 1st. My birthday is on March 30th. And I have put out an invitation on Facebook for anyone who wants to come help me paint our upstairs space and kind of continue to prepare that for people who might want to come and stay this summer a little bit or spring, summer, fall to help with the farm. Um, I just need to kind of wrap up and clean up the 
the lodging space so that that's possible. Um, yeah, and beyond that, there's, you know, picking up six and, um, you know, all the kinds of different chores that go along with getting our space ready in the springtime for uh, growing season this summer. So I think I'm going to have to keep opening myself up really wide to any and all kinds of support that God and the universe have in store for me. And that is an exercise. That is a muscle I have to continue to exercise for sure. Uh, it feels really tempting to kind of pull back and withdraw and say, okay, for sure I've had my fill of help now. Um, help can move on to someone else and to another family somewhere else who is in need. Um, but if we stay the course with what we're doing um, and with cancer still very much on the table, um, I'm just not there yet. So as uncomfortable as it feels, I have to keep reaching out for help. And um, it really starts with me inside, like within myself, just saying, okay, God, like I'm open and I'm willing to receive. And I trust that whatever support is needed is there for me and I don't need to worry about it. So I'm surrendering my worry and I'm going to head into my week trusting and looking forward to my conversation today with Amy and I trust that whatever doors need to open will and I don't need to worry about that I can just take the step that I'm on so that's where I'm at that's what I'm doing <laughs> all right um Thanks for being here and thanks for checking in with us and I hope that you are doing well and I wish you well on this beautiful Monday morning.